Welcome back everyone. You may be in a position where for some reason your iMessage is just not working. Now this can happen for literally 5 billion different reasons, but I'll go ahead and break down a couple ways and actually how to fix it. Now, if you have an iPhone 12 specifically, sometimes your iMessage might still be working just like how it is now, but for some reason, it may just be an iOS issue. So if you have a phone like an iPhone 12, I will tell you, you should probably just wait until Apple pushes out the next version of iOS 14, which may be a couple years from now because they're spending so much time doing it. But that's the very first thing I'd recommend doing is waiting until they push out the next update before you go and try a lot of these other things. But yeah, I would still recommend trying these other things just in case. Now, the very first thing I'd recommend beyond that, just waiting for an update, is to potentially actually go into your settings and make sure obviously that you're connected to a cell signal, you're connected to data, you're connected to something. iMessage does run off a lot of data and Wi-Fi a lot of the time, so you're going to have to make sure that you have those things enabled. If you're not getting pictures and videos, this can also probably be the reason. If you're not connected to a reliable, strong network, then this can sometimes take a humongous toll on the amount of basically iMessages you can get. So as long as you have a good, reliable network, then you should be able to turn on iMessage and everything. So now that that's out of the way, that's very awkward. What you want to do is go into your settings. You want to scroll down into messages, which is right here. You want to go ahead and tap on it. Now you'll see a bunch of different stuff throughout. You can see just a bunch of random stuff. But at the very top, you'll see this little option called iMessage. Now, all you want to do here, and this is extremely, extremely important, all you want to do is make sure iMessage is enabled. As long as you can see this and as long as this is enabled for you, then you're pretty much good to go and you're pretty much set. All you have to do at this point is just make sure this is enabled. And I would recommend at this point probably restarting your phone. It doesn't really require you to restart your phone, but that's probably what I would recommend doing is restarting my phone at this point by holding up the power button and sometimes the volume button depending on your phone, slide to power off, then turn on the phone back on, slide to power on, and you should be able to be good to go. And at this point, your phone should be fully functional. You should be able to go ahead, go back into iMessage, and it should be fully functional. Now, just in case you go into it and it's still not working for some reason, well, like I said before, this can happen for a lot of different reasons, but you may be in a better situation if you go and hop out and then go back into your settings. And then you want to go ahead and go back into your messages app again. So right here, and you want to toggle these on and off. So toggle your iMessage back on, toggle it off, then toggle it back on again and see if that works. If that still doesn't work, I would recommend scrolling up, going into your name right here, clicking on it. You'll see a bunch of different stuff. You want to go and click on iCloud, which is right here. And once you see this, you want to make sure that the iCloud account that you're actually associated with right here is actually working and you have access to it. Sometimes if you go into your iCloud account right here, it may require you to put in a password and maybe you just bought your phone and you didn't verify that that was your account or something. So sometimes that can also have some effect to it. I've heard that a couple of times, not like every time, but that sometimes happens. And you can obviously click on here, type in your password and verify that that's your specific account as well. And sometimes that's all it takes just to verify your credentials. So that really pretty much covers it up. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.